what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a hip spica, okay? So the hip spica is designed to aid in hip flexion for a hip that's having trouble lifting itself or pain when they lift, okay? So this is to keep them in the game, all right? This is truly like an in, it, um, on field or on court taping that you're gonna do to help somebody stay in and run and do whatever they need to do so that the hip can still flex, okay? So this is likely FAI, a hip flexor strain, something like that that's limiting um, the hip from coming forward into hip flexion. So what we're gonna wanna do is they're gonna need to split their stance a bit because we're gonna need some room. The hip that you need is you're facing. Now, the big question is here, what do we do with the foot? So if the hip feels like it's a FAI, where it's a pinching in the hip, I might open him slightly into some external rotation, okay, to make that feel less compressed in the hip, okay? It's not wrong to keep him here, but I would not necessarily go into the hip impingement, okay? So let's just kind of keep him in a nice neutral. Now, the key is gonna be to get your, um, to get your ace wrap to go around to sort of idea, sort of think about how much space do I have to work with? Is he a big, big guy, small, petite? We have to sort of visualize that. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the tape. Do you have shorts under here? Yeah. Okay, so we'll just use this. Now, in real life, you're gonna have your athlete in likely their, whatever their undergarment is, okay? Um, and you have to remember that they have to go to the bathroom before this is on. So they really have to be, this is like, <laughs> this is like the last step out to the field or the court, okay? Because it can be very challenging after that. Um, and then if they have, um, you know, like tights, the, sm the spandex shorts, that can go on over this to help keep everything in place, okay? So that's kind of usually how this is. This is usually there's some kind of an undergarment here. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the ace wrap around mid thigh. I'm pretty close to his joint line. And I'm gonna start, you're good, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take it around a couple of times. Now the ace wraps will roll. So your, your job is to try to keep that at a minimum, but there's gonna be some that roll. Now, when you get to the back side, his butt cheek, the glute fold is right there. You have to hug under the glute fold. If you go too high onto his glute, that will for sure roll down. So what we wanna do with the gluteal fold is we wanna just kinda hug right underneath to almost create like a shelf right there, okay? So we're gonna come around the hip, likely twice, which I just did. Now I'm gonna aim for his pelvis. Now the key with the ace wrap here is usually there's some kind of a waistband, you're gonna follow that, okay? So you're gonna pass it behind the PSIS should be right in there, okay? What we don't wanna do is go up to his lumbar spine. This is for his pelvis. You just need to anchor this to the lowest part of the pelvis where he can keep playing and running, okay? We're gonna come around twice. And I'm pulling, pulling a lot of my tension out. And now I'm gonna finish again and re-anchor to my hip. So it goes hip, pelvis, hip, okay? We're gonna come for this last one really high up into the groin, and then I'm gonna ask him to hold that in place for me. <clears throat> now, I specifically went outward, okay, and around. Because again, you have to think it's probably an impingement syndrome, so let's kind of tug it this way, okay? So from there, I'm gonna wait. Technically, you should grab half of his skin, okay? Keep a hold of the upper section. Now I'm gonna hug right up under the groin 
and aim up. Lift your shirt, yep. Pass. This is where things get tricky because people don't like take a quick second to look back there and then you end up like in his back. And then I did twice around and I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna finish my last anchor. I'm monitoring my glute fold back there to make sure I've got high up in his groin. And I'm gonna finish laterally. And then we'll put a piece of Luco tape there to secure it. Now the key here is for your athletes, do their thighs touch when they're standing upright? If they touch or come anywhere near, you have to put skin lube on this leg and a little bit on the tape so he doesn't get a chafing burn on the other thigh. Now, if you're just gonna have them put their spandex on over this, then there's no big deal to lube it up. You've created the barrier through the, the spandex shorts, okay? But if anything touches here, we have to be aware of lubing up the other side. So I put a little here and a little here. And now they're ready to go. And now what he should feel when he walks is like something's like kind of pulling him up into flexion, kind of like the plantar flex assist did for your Achilles. You're gonna give it that little push off that needs to happen, okay? You wanna walk for a second? And it should feel tight, like it should feel like he is in there. Like we've suctioned the femur up into the acetabulum to create this stability or the force closure that is not there right now. Does that make sense? So we're creating this external support. Uh-huh. If you 